like a stout heart within the city is Detroit industry, the vital pulse beat of technology and resources which has put the world on wheels. Well, Ron got arrested yesterday. What's on the agenda for today? Today we are at the, the old Packard plant, which is um, now just a bunch of decaying architecture and has been actually since the youth of my uh, wife. And what this actually was to her was her Disneyland, and this is where her and her brothers came to play every day. So, um, so today we actually brought my kids here and we did a little graffiti and they did a little graffiti and kind of explored the remains of my wife's childhood. Okay, here we are at the old Packard plant. Uh, it used to be one of the largest auto plants in the Detroit back in its day. Let's take a tour and uh, check out what's become of the, uh, the old Packard plant here. You know, for me, like, like a long time ago, I did um, the Berlin Wall and I came really close to being caught and I was detained by the East German police and then one day they tore down the Berlin Wall, we went back and I went to the same places where I was detained and it was just a building not much unlike this building that we just left and it was just pure space and and it's weird because you know the space is kind of created by what happens in the space and then when nothing's left to happen in the space it's kind of a strangely joyous place where you just have your own run of the place there's nobody to go why are you here let me see your badge or to detain you there or to not let you there it's just it's complete freedom you can wander but not you can't go out of this vicinity and you can't go upstairs and you can't go downstairs it was, uh, you know, when you're an urban kid and you're, you grow up among the ruins, that's what you play in. Uh, but I, I wouldn't, you know, it was, it was an adventure. We tour them as if they were caves, and you find all kinds of things discarded in here, like full boats, cars, you know, dead bodies, things like that. So hopefully we won't find any of that. Kind of creepy. For me, it's just like I, I just, I like the way decay looks. It's like, it's kind of the life force just reclaiming everything that we've ever tried to do as men, you know? And there's something beautiful about it, at least to me. I, I think that there's something yeah. really specific and special and kind of zeitgeisty about street art. Because street art is very democratic. You saw people out there, just regular people walking by, you know, posing in front of the thing that says posers. and. Um, I saw a couple kids walking with a stencil. Um, it's easy to do. If people are not, people don't see it as like ruining the neighborhood anymore. Instead, it, it really does kind of look like art. And I think that there's been a shift in attitudes in the past 20 years toward, you know, looking at it. Where was the Starbucks at? Starbucks, you know, that's the one thing that there were, uh, will probably bring this area back to life is if uh, they, they put a Starbucks in here. Do you think you'll be back, or is this enough to kind of leave your mark for now? Well, unfortunately, like what happens when you come somewhere like this to do something, you know, once you get here, you realize, holy shit, there's, I saw like 300 billboards that are abandoned. It's like I could nail all those billboards, and I saw lots of empty storefronts that I could do my own storefronts on. So, I mean, I could, you know, my, I'm thinking, I mean, at this moment, I would like to move here and just fuck with this place for six months or a year, but that's the feeling I have, so. But I think that's wherever you go, you feel like, I could have done more, I'm just now getting started. But you know, life is short, and there's a lot of places in the world, right? So. off to Illinois where I came from. So we can fuck that shit up. No. <laughs>